Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope you're here. Bring you guys today something brand new. I'm going to be trying some new stuff out on my channel. This is going to be some advanced warfare talk on what I'd love to see in advanced warfare. Like, I'm going to be doing some series on like top five guns, maps, uh, kill streaks, load of other things to do in advanced warfare and to do all other Call of Duties. Like, I would love to see an advanced warfare that I think, in my own personal opinion, should return to the advanced warfare and so I'm going to start off with top five perks that to be returned so I'm starting off with dead silence which is going to be you know that's an essential perk in all call of duties and you know, obviously they've been called different things but mainly dead silence and dead silence has done near enough the same thing in all the call of duties apart from I think it was um, modern warfare 2 or Modern, sorry, Modern Warfare 3 had Dead Silence Pro. He fell down off of like something huge. You wouldn't get no full damage. So, but obviously, I'd love a Dead Silence to return. You know, obviously, people who have got like really good headsets, like Astro Gaming headsets, obviously use Dead Silence and it counteracts their amplifier, for, which is the Call of Duty Ghosts awareness perk. You know, that counteracts the, them. So, I think that's quite beneficial for people who are missed, unfortunate, and don't have maybe a good headset. Um, Assassin, I'd love that to come back, obviously, for everyone really. I've never been a big fan of using it myself, to be honest with you, but I can just see it being a huge part of Advanced Warfare. You know, like, my, my game style, as you guys know, I just rush, a pure rush, and just like to destroy people who get in my way. And I've never really used Assassin, and obviously I've been destroyed by people who use Assassin when I haven't anticipated where they are correctly on the map as well. I'd like to see Lightweight back. I think, in my eyes, Lightweight is a, you know, I think that's a um, stealth perk because obviously when you're in stealth in real life, you're trying to move faster, aren't you, and stuff like that. You're trying to get to places faster without being seen. And like, I think it's a really good perk to have. And I reckon that should be a stealth perk, you know, in all honesty. You know, you move slightly faster, you do things slightly quicker. Maybe lightweight will bring on slight hand, let's say. Or fast hands from Black Ops 2 where you maneuver your hands quicker and change equipment quicker and you throw equipment quicker. I reckon that would be really good in a wise. Um, dexterity from Black Ops 2, I'd love to see that back. You know, like so basically you know enough the same perk as lightweight where you climb obstacles quicker. Um, but I'd love to see dexterity in all honesty to come back. But we'll make that a three perks. I'm going to have dexterity and lightweight near enough the same perk really. Takedown, I'd love to see takedown because obviously when I'm rushing... Um, you know, Skull comes up on a map, say if I killed Bob who's in building at Adom or whatever on a certain map, a little Skull will pop up on the uh, enemy screen where the person has just died, but obviously if, if I have takedown on, um, they will only just see them disappear on the mini map if they have a map it is, if they're not playing hardcore, and obviously no one really pays attention to their mini map unless you've got a UAV up or a V set up, that's if you're playing Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1. <laughs> So I reckon takedown is a really good perk. Like I use it all the time on my Call of Duty um, Ghost setup classes. Tactical mask as well. I'm really fond of that class, um, especially when I'm playing Black Ops 2. I really find it beneficial as well when I'm running and gunning. Say if you get stunned by like three stun grenades, you're still moving. Uh, even if you're playing hardcore as well, believe it or not, even though your teammates can stun you in hardcore. But obviously, if you're wearing tap mask, you just you don't. It doesn't affect you. It just shakes your cre your screen for like. Not even a second, a few milliseconds, and that still hurts you. But you know, you're still better off than waiting, laying down for like three to four, or even six odd seconds, laying there waiting to get up. Even shot charges from one, from Black Ops 2, and also I really think that you know, tap mark will be one of the best perks in um, advanced warfare from looking at all the videos that I've seen. But anyways, guys, this is like a new sort of. Uh, video from me like a series and I'm going to be changing my channel around a lot more like advanced warfare based so do me a huge favor if you really do like this type of content please let me know what you'd like to see below as well and I'm still be uploading out gameplays behind my videos as well which would be good so do me a huge favor peace out and take care